Yo, what's going on, guys? Um, I wanted to talk with you. Oof. Had some burps coming up. I wanted to talk with you guys real briefly about the power of baby steps. Um, have you ever found yourself struggling with not being able to do a task because or, or moving a task to the back burner simply because you look at it and you go, wow, there's no way I can finish that today or in a couple of days. This is such a long project. And you kind of put it off because you're treating it as if you can't address that task unless you have all the time that's required to finish it. Do you struggle with having several things on your to-do list that are ongoing things that are actually going to take a lot more time? I want to challenge you that one of the most beneficial and healthiest ways that you can get more things done is being okay with incomplete projects as long as you're super intentional on a daily and weekly basis with when you're going to address those things. At the beginning of this week, I had like 10 really big tasks and there was no way I was going to be able to allocate, okay, Monday, I'm going to do this in its, in its entirety. Tuesday, I'm going to do this in its entirety or all the biggest stuff goes on the weekend. There was no way I was going to tackle any of it if I didn't work on it diligently on a daily basis. Even with the little time I had Monday through Friday, I had to put together a plan to address those things. So I wrote down, okay, Monday through Wednesday, I'm going to tee up these things. Thursday to Friday or Wednesday to Friday, I'm going to tee up these other things. And hopefully by about Friday, Saturday, I'll complete those things and then have room to tackle some of the things I wanted to have focused, isolated time on. Um, get in the habit of understanding. Uh, mixing and mastering is a great example of this for me. There was a time where I realized that I needed to get better at my mixing and mastering and get more professional with it. But I had almost no time in the day. I just had my evenings. And so I would literally be on YouTube and take classes and different things like that. And all I had was about an hour and a half a day at one point. And, but I committed to that and it was really challenging because each day I was challenged to not do that because the only way I could do it was while I was laying in bed, putting YouTube on in my ears and watching my phone. And that was so boring and so exhausting. And there were times where I would do that for like 10, 14 days straight or something and feel like I wasn't getting anywhere, but I had to put the time in and a year later of committing uh, an hour and a half to two hours of my night for every night for 365 days resulted in some of the fastest growth with my music. But if I would have been impatient with that process and not deliberate with writing down, okay, this is the thing that I'm trying to conquer. Okay, break it down. We're going to take baby steps through this process. I would have never learned to engineer because I would have always made the excuse that I didn't have enough time and I didn't have enough private space to go carve my way through that. Listen, if you're an adult, if you're married, if you have children, if you have small groups, if you have church commitments, if you have friends and family and a job, all those things as you get older take more of your time. And so you're going to find yourself as you come into adulthood, maybe even some of you kids out there have this same experience where you're just like, I have no time. I just have no time. Well, I want to challenge you that you probably do have time. Something may need to be sacrificed that's not as important as you think. And it can be as practical as I'm going to go to sleep 30 minutes later because I want to just clock in 10 to 30 minutes a night practicing or learning a skill or chipping away at a project where it's a hundred piece puzzle, but you know what? I'm going to do one puzzle piece per day until the thing is done. And I'm going to just be patient knowing that it'll accumulate. That might seem boring with one task, but imagine the fruit that could be had when you have 10 to 20 tasks or 30 goals for the year and you break them down. Yeah, you got to be diligent and you got to be patient. But two, three months later, three to six months later, you look down and, oh, wow, I just completed like 30 huge tasks 
And now I've actually leveled up and made myself more efficient so that I need less time going into the next goal I have because I've just acquired more knowledge. I've learned how to execute on that and I've put in the time. So now I'm actually working faster on the things that I care about and, and my goals. And this is just a really powerful way to build up your spiritual life as well. You know, when I think about my maturity as a believer, there's a lot of things involved in that. There's the Holy Spirit. There's prayer. There's reading my Bible. There's speaking uh, with my wife and my son and my friends about God so they can encourage me and share testimony with me. There's my church. There's small group. There's things I might look up online. There's podcasts. And it may seem like very discouraging to not go on a podcast and finish it all the way to the end uh, because you don't have enough time for that. You might say, oh, I don't want to listen to that one podcast uh, that's going to really uh, build me up spiritually because I don't have a whole hour of my day to allocate. Um, and you, you're intimidated by the idea of breaking that down to just saying, you know what, I'm going to listen to this sermon for five minutes a day until it's done. Imagine the compounding effect of you know, answering the question of, how do I get in my word more? How do I uh, be a better friend? How do I be a better husband? Uh, how do I read the word to my son? How do I... Sh if you can just break that down into some of the simplest baby steps and start there and get some consistency under your belt, building uh, from that point to the next step is always a lot more encouraging and achievable than never addressing any task because you're trying to do it in its entirety. I'm starting to learn at 34 that being intentional with your workflow and breaking your tasks down is one important thing. But right after that, right next to that, it is so important that as you are intentional and you're trying to conquer massive goals that you have in your life, spiritually, with your job, with your family, financially, etc., you must, in your diligent, intentional, breaking down workflow, you must be patient. If you don't have patience, you will never break the things down and create the unique lifestyle as far as time management that is particular to your life. For everybody, the sacrifices look different. The time management looks different. And so that takes a lot of intentional time and focus. It takes failure. It takes learning. It takes versatility. And it takes knowledge and wisdom. It takes relationships and insight. It takes time. So you're not going to endure to the end of that journey. It's a lifelong journey, but you're not going to endure. You're not going to have enough endurance to conquer those goals if you have no patience because you're too busy wanting to sit down and get everything done in a week or everything done in a month. Be realistic. Break things down. And I think you'll find that when you break things down, you might find that you want to tackle. Some people are multi-mindsetted, meaning... They are, they're in the flow of their natural giftings when they're doing a, a, a lot of things at once. Well, you have to have the discipline to do that. Break those things down. Don't do 10 things at once. Do a fraction of each thing. You know, do 10 things, but break them down into baby steps or you won't even be able to digest it and get through that. And some people might need to be focused on one thing. Well, everybody's priorities are different, but if you're the guy who focuses on one thing, then you still need to go through the process of breaking it down because even if you decide to conquer that whole task quickly, breaking it down will allow you to actually make the most of each individual day to get closer to that goal faster. Um, I hope that encourages you guys. Let me know, um, have you been thinking through that? Is that a part of your life where you're like, man, I just want to learn how to be more efficient? man, I want more knowledge. I want to learn a new skill. I want to be uh, better spiritually in this particular area of my life. Let me know in the comments. I would love to give you guys some insight, just reflect with you, maybe relate with you on those topics. And um, yeah, I hope it's encouraging. Again, I don't write all these things out, so I'm not adding all of the best tricks and tips in an order. I'm just kind of venting to you guys uh, because I'm trying to vlog more and share my experience raw and uncut with you guys. So hope you have a great weekend. Talk to you soon.